Hey, howdy ho, everyone! Lost Leader here, and we're back in action for more Crash Bandicoot Wart Attraction. That's right, we're playing the third one this time. Uh, the one that's uh, the golden goose of this entire thing. So let's get this thing started, shan't we? We're gonna play some uh, nice, uh, good, uh, good times. Uka Uka is free? No, it cannot be. Evil, great evil has come. He just left crash there. None have dared fail the great Uka Uka even once. But you, Cortex, you have failed me twice. Great Uka Uka. It was that infernal bandicoot! From deep inside my kettle prison, I sent you simple instructions to follow. But you lost the gems, you lost the crystals, and I have lost my patience! There is now no other power source left on this planet! I know we've had a few unfortunate setbacks. And fail! But since your bumbling has managed to set me free, I am feeling generous. There is still a way to amass the power needed to enslave this miserable planet. And this time, this time, the great Uka Uka will make sure that you do it right! After many eons, my evil twin brother, Uka Uka, has been freed from his underground prison. Long ago, I locked him there to protect the world from his malice. Now, free once again, he must be stopped. I like how generally, like, no one was really paying attention to, to Uka Uka. Children. Uka Uka and Cortex plan to use this time twisting machine to gather crystals that lay scattered across time. I have brought you here to recover the crystals before they do. To open the time portal, simply stand on a button and then jump into the portal. Good luck. I don't know what it is about like the hub world and everything, but it was far more menacing back in the day like they just like had that that shadowy thing and whatnot i mean like oh uka uka i think his name is i i forget the evil twin guy um he's definitely far more menacing with all those gestures and whatnot but uh everything else uh, is kind of you know just it's just a little too bright honestly i think that's kind of the problem let's let's interact oh yeah of course i want coco to join on my adventure shoot all the little laptops right there, just just kind of like whatever. All right, so let's let's get Coco going here. And uh, oh, that was kind of weird. Oh, dude, R1 is also slide now. That's kind of crazy. R1 is also slide. Um, I don't remember it being that way. I remember O being it, but not R1. Anyway, let's get this thing uh, rolling. Uh, should we really do that first, or should we do just like whatever? Yeah, let's do this one first. Oriented Express. Why not? Crash, crash, crash. Why must you always muck in my mud? Oh, look. I have a mask helping me, too. We will find out which one is more powerful soon enough. Well, that's just rude. Hold a run for top speed. Control suffers, though. 
Okay, I guess. But the, 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 how to say, one thing I always particularly liked about Crash Bandicoot is that you could always choose a different level if you really wanted to. Also, I love the tiger. Oh my gosh, she did a little winky face. She did, just like, 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 like brother, like sister, I swear. Brother, like sister. Oh my goodness, though. It, it does control really well. I still do. Oh, man. Some little fancy stuff right here. Oh, this is extra life. I don't need an extra life. What I need right now is more boxes. I need to get all the boxes, man. You need all the boxes in Crash Bandicoot. Otherwise, you don't get the gem. If you don't get the gem, then you don't get the 100% the ending. If you don't get the 100% ending, what are you doing with your life? That's how you play Crash Bandicoot. I know it's weird, but it's the truth, man. Like, you don't play Crash just to beat it. As much as I am just playing it just to beat it right now, I don't plan it like, keep it that way. I do not. I plan to actually complete it. Um, it's for Crash 1. Crash 1, who cares? Ah, you jerk. I hate it when it's like that. I hate it. Just like, oh, look, he almost touched it, but not exactly. Okay, I need to get this. Alright, those are always a little tricky. Not, not the, the easiest bits. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh god, that was scary. No, 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 no. These little, little, little bits right here that I'm just like, oh no, please just let me have it. Okay. The enemies kind of feel slower, if you ask me. Oh my god. That is just way hard to actually get. It's like all the way to like 10 bucks, dude. No! Why'd I have to miss that one? Also, I noticed it is kind of gruesome just to straight up like. Like, throw the tiger off you and everything. Because Coco's pretty much all in control of this little thing and whatnot. So, it's just, it's, it's, he must messed up. Like, I had to, like, just, like, barely get it. And, and then I could get it. And it's, it's, it's just only so much. There's only so much time. No. That's enough. There we go. It just always gets scary, man. It just always, always, always gets scary. And I got my thing. The tiger is cute, though. Like, they, 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 they upped the cuteness factor of the tiger. Which is already pretty dang cute as it was. I was kind of sad that the polar bear doesn't really come back. But, you know, for some reason, part of the, the Crash family team or something. It's okay. <coughs> Duh, 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 duh. And then the loading times are ever so long. I mean, it's not long, long. It's just ever so long, you know? Like, it just takes a while. Every day, every time. Yay. I really do love her crash dance, though. I'm very happy that she has it. Well, yeah. Good job, Coco. Mmm, Boneyard, not exactly. You can actually see if there's any colored gems. Because color gems are the utmost important thing to get first and foremost. Uh, I guess we'll do under pressure for it. Under pressure now. Under pressure! I really wouldn't doubt that's that's what it is. Basket can get you out of sticky situations. Whoa! <coughs> oh, now that I think about it too, uh, Garbage Truck Sand should be here around here this time. Or something like that. I honestly can't tell if this is better or worse. If if the controls are better or worse right now. I don't remember. Mm. Oh god. That's scary. Yeah, spinning makes it go faster. As per usual. Sometimes it makes it go too fast. And you get scared and you're just like, oh no, please. Please don't go so fast. I, I, I just want to, to live. God dang it. I could have sworn you get like a thing. Okay, good. Just, just. Okay. It's 
real pretty though, like legit. The graphics they, they have on this thing, ever so pretty, ever, ever, ever so pretty. Oh, well, okay. I guess I deserve it. Nope, 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 nope. You just like have to kind of like swirl around a bit. Wait for that to go. Go this way. Why do you skip the, the jittery box? I don't understand that at all. Why is the box so jittery? Oh, well, I mean, I guess I got him. Jeez Louise, dude. I mean, in all honesty, I've never really been afraid of sharks. That probably has a lot to do with my whole entire, like, um, like, i never seen Jaws. i never really seen sharks in this, like, sort of, like, realistic, like, I'm gonna bite your limbs off sort of way. I mean, I know they can do that. And for the most part, um... Like, you really shouldn't approach sharks in the regard that you would, like, a dog. But, you know, like, for the most part, from what I've seen and everything, and, uh, and whatnot, like, I've never really, uh, been that kind of person just like, oh, no, sharks are evil. Like, no, like, sharks are pretty dang friendly, actually, um, in regards to, like, human life and whatnot. Um, just more so the fact that they just kind of go like, hey, you know, like, I took a bite out of you, you weren't a seal, my bad, I'm gonna leave you alone. Like, sharks don't go out of their way to actually kill human beings. Uh, they just mistake us for seals because we kind of look like seals. That's really all it comes down to it. And I mean, like, I guess it doesn't help either that, like, various things that I've seen growing up have mostly depicted sharks as this, like, super cartoony uh, thing where they're kind of like, um, just like, oh, I'm a shark, I'm kind of dumb. But you don't, it's kind of racist now that I think about it. Oh, hey, uh, Sun uh, Gaming, how you doing? Yep, it's Crash Bandicoot Walt! That's right, it is. God dang, I gotta get used to the submarine controls. No, my submarine! I just wanted my yellow submarine. God dang it. Okay, good. But it's nice to see you, uh, Sun uh, Gaming. It's a pleasure having you around. Oh, God! It's just always scare me. There we go. That's that's what I want to see. Flippy flop, flippy flu. Okay. The best game of uh, Crash Bandicoot Warped. I mean, I've always kind of considered Crash Three and Two kind of like on the same level. In all honesty, uh, I don't necessarily think they're like like Warped is like inherently better. Maybe that will change my tune, the way that I remember it, but I just, I don't really remember it being that way for me. I mean, I get why people like it more. I get it. It's like, it, it pretty much improves with power-ups and all this and that, and that's pretty cool. But I always kind of look at that too as kind of like, I have to go back and, uh, with power-ups in order to get stuff and everything, and it's kind of like, oh, I don't wanna. Oh, well, I would've lost anyway. Yay, I got my thing. I don't have to do this again. Good. You love Warp's title screen? I mean, yeah, admittedly. That's kind of the one thing I really don't like about the, the Insanity Trilogy is that all the opening cutscenes are no longer a thing. I'm not talking about, like, the opening opening for the game. I'm talking about legit the... Like, I'm going to show... Um, the Nai Dog logo and all like the the barrels the 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 crates breaking out, and I like that bit. I always did like that bit. It was, it was nice. Yeah, the Sony Computer Entertainment America presents Naughty Dog. Uh, Clancy Brown narrates the whole thing. I don't know who that is necessarily, but I assume they're they're important to some degree. Okay. Got those. Mm, I don't know. All right, we'll do making waves. We'll do the the dread jet ski levels because from what I hear from people, complete the course to, uh, course to earn the power crystal. From what I hear with these uh, the new jet ski uh, things, um, it does not control nearly as well. Um, so I'm kind of. I'm kind of afraid of it because I would not doubt that it, it 
like they mess up the controls because this is one of the ones that just were very easy to mess up. And I can already kind of tell that just moving around. Oh, yeah. Moving around. You go straight as an arrow, but god dang it, dude. Is it ever so hard to just like be like precise with this bloody thing? I'm just kind of lucky this is like one of the first like world things. Oh, 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 dang it. I didn't even get to see who I was. They really messed up uh, for the time trials. What, what, what did they mess with the time trials? Because I don't re recall the time trials actually being that hard for, um, what should it call it? This thing? The jet ski? But, um, as I recall, um, it's just the, the getting the boxes and whatnot. That's the hard part. Out of everything for the most part. What the hell? I, I don't know wholeheartedly. Oh my god. But yeah, like that. I kind of should have missed it. There we go. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, you can't like really slow down. Is there drifting with this? I can't really feel that there's drifting. Oh my god. Really? You know, honestly, I kind of don't like the water effect. It feels way too clean for what it is. I mean, I liked it in, in the other levels of Crash, but so far for the jet ski, I kind of feel like they ruined it? I don't want to necessarily say it like all the other way, because it certainly looks like a lot of levels are just like, whoa, so pretty in this version. But I, I definitely see why people are like, it's, it doesn't necessarily beat the first crash. Well, first. it doesn't beat it in terms of like, oh, you know, like this is the the go-to for because Crash Two, the port for that is like the go-to. Oh my God, dude, that was way too close. Um, that was the go-to port in comparison to the original, I would say. That same would go for the original Crash. This original Crash. Oh my God, it's so much better on Insane Trilogy, even with the hit collision, because. Crash, Crash 1 is just way too hard for no reason. It's still hard for no reason, but hey, it's better at least. Okay, good. Doing fine here. What's the other thing that you're saying? Oh, just keep time trials are apparently a real pain for Insane Trilogy. Some people are also complaining that, that they put bombs too close to each other. I can see that. Oh, Clayton's Brown was Cortex and Uka Uka. Okay. All right, then. Sorry, I have to, like, stop and just, like, look real quick. That's not gaming because um, my comment section isn't, like, directly in front of me. I have to kind of, like, look to the side and go, like, oh, okay. Got all that together. And we are getting lives left and right, just like we did last time. And let's see how long I could keep my, my living streak for because um, I got a lot more game overs in Crash 2 than I remember that I like to admit, honestly. I'm just honestly confused. What the I mean so far I, I do I'm liking this so far. Getting the whole entire like I beat this so many times so I know what I'm doing. Plus, on top of that, Crash 3 was just generally easier than the other two. It really were. You know what? We're going we're gonna to do one next. Alright. Toad Village it is. Uka Uka and Cortex want tiny kid crystals and bring them to Big Coliseum in Rome. Crash! Leave them for tiny or Crash get crushed! Oh, get it? Because it's play on words. Failing a bonus path does not cost life, so retry it. I guess I might do that. Also, why does my arm hurt? Because I think I skidded on, on my uh, balcony door, as it were. And yes, I do have a balcony. I do have a door. It is not nearly as luxurious as you think. In fact, it costs me more pain than anything else. Um, I kind of screwed that up. I like how our oh, oh, inventory. Oh, dude, nice. She shows me all the other stuff. Don't need that. Get rid of that. Not cool. 
You're very very happy with the time twister messages? Yeah, they look they look way nicer. Like you know, honestly, they, they overhauled a lot of like facial expressions and everything, and it just it looks amazing. Um, just some some of the way they present themselves though, just kind of sucks. So it's like, oh, I would have liked better, but it's fine. I mean, like when it comes to facial animation, that's probably like, the hardest part to be like, oh, this is like really cool essentially. Like you can make it look really nice. I kind of remember that screwing me before with the Ukabuka mask. So there's seven here. Taking the scenic route. Yes, I am! Why'd you not get the life? That was weird. Alright. Grab, grab, grab. Yeah, we got all seven. Good to go. Oh, dude, it has 42! The, the meaning to the life, the universe, and everything else. I'm liking how much Wampa Fruit they legit give you. Because it is really helping the live counter up right now. It really is. I don't remember the other crashes doing that. I really don't. I think that that might, like, I've... Like, I don't know which one I actually liked more as a kid. I couldn't rightly tell you. I will tell you that, that Crash Warp was the one that I could put in the most. That is definitely a for sure thing. Um, I just don't remember. I don't even remember doing the time trials in all honesty. I'm pretty sure I got the Platinums for it, but I can't be positive. I might have just stuck to gold on some of these things. Like in all honesty, like I, I don't know. 